It's that time of year where the horses are fresh again and there's a chill in the air. Despite living in more of a southern area of Jorvik now, it's still pretty cold, so it's safe to say autumn's almost over. It's in the air, you feel that it's bringing back images. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog, this time Autumn Edition. That is my fifth time recording that intro. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I, I can't do it today. I forgot how to do this, so anyway. I understand it's a little late for an autumn vlog. It's literally supposed to snow next week, so I mean, hey, better late than never. I'm gonna take you guys through my day today towards, you know, I guess we'll call this the end of autumn vlog. It's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna introduce you guys to some new horses, give you the basic rundown, and just show you life at our new farm since we moved. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? If you remember about four-ish weeks ago, almost a month ago, I put up some of my horses for sale and boy oh boy, I got 376 applications. I was not anticipating that and it was very stressful to choose new owners for these horses, but we prevailed. A lot of people wanted Persephone and I am happy to announce that Persephone went to an amazing home with Autumn Oakwin. I have been such a fan of Autumn for the longest time. I love her channel. I love her horses. I love her. She's so entertaining to watch and i'm just so happy persephone has a home now with someone who seems just so lovely and such a beautiful farm and other horses to play with they are just a perfect match go check out autumn she definitely deserves all the attention she can get and you can keep up with persephone so it's a win-win the next most sought out after was sarku now a lot of you may be weirded out by my decision here but sarku is now a permanent resident of mountain grove rescue if you don't know what mountain grove rescue is it's my sister's rescue farm actually and sarku is going to be permanently retired there and be used as a vet horse. And what that means is he's just gonna teach vet students anatomy and all of that. Maybe, I don't know, paint like a muscular skeletal system on him or something. So he's gonna live a very relaxed, nourishing life. And my sister is such a sweet girl, so I know he is going to be loved endlessly. As for Gaz, he was bought by Kay Eventing on Instagram, someone who I also know very well, and they are a perfect fit for Gaz, and I think that was the best possible home he could have gone to. Their Instagram is currently being reworked, so there isn't many posts of him up, but again, I will link every single new owner below. This way you can follow all of these horses and see how they're doing. Now that all of the boring stuff is out of the way, not that that's boring, <laughs> We can continue our tradition where the first thing we do is ride Rainley and talk about how fat he is. So let's get on with that. In the morning when I get up, I wish that we could stop and take each day. In the evening when I get home, I always hope to find you all alone and out of harm's way. So while I tack up Brainly, I want to take it upon myself to kill two birds with one stone and just talk about some things with you guys. So yes, I did move barns. I really had no choice because if you haven't been keeping up, my barn burned down. To give a simple recap, my husband, his name is Wade, he's Jorvik Ranger. He was specifically handling a case across Jorvik where there's just arsonists everywhere apparently. The fire's getting closer and closer and just causing destruction and the people causing this still have yet to be apprehended. We have been working with the Jorvik PD and the Rangers and we've come to a decision that the arson attack on our farm was targeted, most likely because of everything Wade had gone through. He actually ended up losing his mentee to one of these arsonists and we we actually ended up losing two horses to the fires. I know I don't sound devastated, I cope with humor and I cope by acting like nothing's wrong, which is unhealthy, but we move, I guess. <laughs> Every time I look around, I hope to find you looking back at me. You're everything I ever hope to see. 
So believe it or not, I know we said we were going to call Ramley fat, but he told me personally he's actually quite sick of being fat shamed. So we're going to let off a little bit, especially because he's made a lot of progress and he's pretty much almost back to his old self. He just needs to lose a couple more pounds. I actually made the executive decision because this is such a big decision apparently. I'm going to keep him as a hunter horse now. I've gone through this story a million times. We all know I bought Rainley as an eventer. He was supposed to be my, my big my big star, my, my big go-getter, but he ended up just being lazy and his cross-country days are so beyond over. So we're gonna keep him as a hunter horse. Don't fret. This horse will never be put in a lesson program. This horse will never be sold. He is my baby and he's gonna make me the best hunter I could ever be, so. We got a love that's worth a wait. Darling, you've been on my mind. Gonna love you to the So everything on the Rainley side of things fared pretty well. What can I say about him? You guys know him. He's a good boy. He's gonna be a great hunter and there's not a lot of work to be done with him anymore and I'm just so proud of him. So now I'm in what will be our new tack room. It's kind of a mess. There's still boxes everywhere. I don't know how I 100% feel about this place. I really miss the country and this farm is right next to a town and it's very crammed. There's not a lot of wide open space like I'm used to. I did actually ride at this barn specifically when it was under a different name when I was a teenager and I basically grew up here. So it does have a sentimental place in my heart. I just, again, I miss my home, the first barn I ever bought, but there's nothing I can do. So now I'm just gonna make this place more homely and put up some more posters in the feed room and just get things together and I'll take you guys along with me for that. I will say that decorating has really helped me cope with things and just losing the FLEC in general. We still operate under the name FLEC, nothing's changed, this place is not going to be called Oak Meadows. I could never ditch the name Farm Lake Equestrian Center, it's just like a part of me at this point. So, Anyway, as you just saw, I turned out some of the horses and there were a few new faces there, two specifically, so I just want to introduce you to them really quick. I have four more horses I have to introduce you to, so <laughs> it's 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 been a lot. I know I just got rid of horses, so it's probably confusing as to why there's already more. Sarku, Gaz, and Persephone weren't really benefiting the farm business-wise. Gaz was never meant to be here permanently. Sarku, he was retired, and we already have Gail, who is retired, and I don't want to say she takes up space. She obviously doesn't, but I run a lesson program, and because we live right next to a town now, and a lot of kids used to ride at Oak Meadows, they're going to come to me now, and we need a lot more horses, so that's my, my justification. So up first, I'd like to introduce you to Charity. She's a 10-year-old Dartmoor mare. Obviously, I don't have any footage of me riding her because I'm too big for her. She is the smallest pony I've ever met. She was even smaller than Fabio. I miss him a lot. But I bought Charity from Sadie Lakeside, and Sadie Lakeside is another person that I am just so grateful to know. She is so kind. Charity is such a sweet girl. She's mainly a jumper, but she can do dressage as well. And Bones, specifically took a huge liking to her, so it makes me happy. 
Anytime I see Bones making friends, it gives me like a proud mom moment. That's charity for you. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Sahara. Her show name is Desert Rose and she is a beautiful, lippy and warm blood cross. I actually bought her from Ari Emberford, yet another person that I thoroughly enjoy and just adore their content and stuff in general. Please check Aria out, she is awesome. Sahara is a six-year-old, like I said, lippy and warm blood cross. She's strong in dressage from what I've read, but Aria kind of turned her into this hunter horse, which is awesome because I'm really trying to brand myself as a hunter trainer now. Sahara is not safe for kids, so I'm thinking of just taking her and Rainley to a hunter show in December. We're getting an influx of mares this time around, which is crazy because I'm usually a gelding person, so this is big for me. The next two horses I'm going to announce to you guys, I'm actually going to ride for you with some helmet cam footage because I haven't done that in a while, so we're going to get started with that. Darling, I know it's hard to let go, soon I will hold you. Longer days when I'm away But we'll both pretend to be bold Darling, I've never been bold So, the cute little gray ears I'm behind right now belong to a lovely little mare named Strato. I bought her from Spring River Equestrian on Instagram, and I'm so happy with this purchase. Again, yet another mare, and she is the sweetest little thing. She's only five, she's an Appaloosa, she's about 15 hands, and I guess her calling is just endurance and cross country, which is perfect. I have a lot of fun on her, I really, really like her, and I'm really excited to put her in my lesson program and she is just the sweetest little thing ever. Good girl, good girl. All right, whoa, easy walk. Good girl. Oop, inside, inside. Jeez. Anyway, that's Strato for you, the sweetest little girl, even though we almost just got ran over by another person. These people, man, I swear. <laughs> Alright, now we got a bit of a fancier one here, and this is my new dressage horse named Nero, previously owned by Sadie Lakeside and Alyssa Ravenport. Now, Nero's kind of too fancy for me, but again, I teach offending, I kind of need good dressage horses here and there so Nero was a good option I guess so we're just gonna try a few things here I probably won't know what I'm doing he has a lot of buttons to push so who knows <laughs> the thing about dressage horses is their trots are so bouncy but so smooth I don't know how to explain it this feels so weird <laughs> god I wish I could teach Rainley to do this It'd be so funny Well, that was definitely one of the most interesting things I did all day, so kudos to Nero for that. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. Well, that was Nero for you, everybody. He's very delighted. Delighted. I don't know. It's a bit later, around 6-ish p.m. It's so dark out because of the time change. I kind of hate it, but I kind of love it. So Wade came home from work and decided he was too tired to do night feeding. So I'm gonna do it. It's not like I have anything better to do anyway. Of course, I'm gonna give them their basic hay and stuff, but I wanna show you how I make bones 
Bones is. Bones. The plural of Bones' name. How I make his feed. I showed you guys Rainley's a few videos back, but Bones is a little more complicated. Not really. I don't know. I just thought it'd be interesting. So obviously, all of my horses eat nectar. I never shut up about nectar. I'm sure you're sick of hearing about nectar. I just love nectar. They have everything and it works. <laughs> it really does work. So here we have Bones' lovely little purple bucket from Nectar. All of my horses have Nectar buckets. So Bones' feed starts off with high calorie as a base. He moves around a lot. He's an athlete. He's a ranger horse. He's constantly moving. So he needs all the calories he can get. Now, here's the thing about him. He will not take syringe medicine or whatever the hell it's called. He needs perfect prep when he stays in the barn. He hates being inside, but it's cold tonight and he was out all day, so he needs to be inside. So I just shove this in his feed and he eats it in the pellets. I know it's not ideal, but at least he's getting it to keep him calm. Every other day, we give him either a cup of performance or all-purpose. Tonight, I'm just going to give him some performance feed. And then along with that, I'm going to add his electrolyte supplements and then his bug off because, you know, being in the woods and stuff is going to be surrounded by bugs. After that, we're going to take his beet pulp shreds and we're going to soak them in some omega acid oil. This stuff has a lot of benefits. I don't know the logistics. I give Rainley the same thing. Uh, when I was a Yorvik Ranger, I was just taught to always give your horses these two things, especially if they are extremely active horses. I do see a complete change in my horses when they're on or off of this. And I, I don't know. I don't know what the secret is. I really don't. After that, I just throw in some more extra anti-stress stuff that was given to him by an actual vet and just some meds and stuff for his eye and everything. Then I decided to be generous and because he's such a good boy, I threw some peppermint treats in from Nectar in light of Christmas starting soon, so I hope he enjoys those. So now I'm gonna soak it and you can tell he's already excited Then he's gonna go to town on it and hopefully he'll just go to sleep. So I'm going to finish the night feed and then I'm going to go back to my little house, take a shower, and then I'm probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll finish watching Loki. I haven't finished watching it. So that's my plans for tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I will see you guys probably next week with another video because I have something very cool planned that I think you guys will be excited for because I know I'm excited for it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you later. Bye.